All right, hello everyone. My name is Adam Sheard and I will be introducing you to CL Notes today. So this is a guide for the students to use their CL Notes in their translation class. So the first thing that we're going to do is go to clnotes.com. So www.clnotes.com. All right, and that's going to bring you to the login screen. So once you get to the login screen, you will enter your login username, which the teacher will give you tomorrow. So for now, I'm going to log in on student number nine. All right, and then put in my password. And after you've done this, you click sign in. Okay, so now it's loaded up and you can see on the left side of the page here, we have the next four articles that you will do in your translation class. So the first one here is the one that you will cover on Wednesday, which is article 3-3. And you can see the title here. And if you go up, you can see there is also, I'll click on it so you can see it. And then we also have 4-1, 4-2, and 4-3. So 3-3 is the first one we're going to work with. Now, you have some vocabulary that you need to study in the class. And you can see up here that there is a color that says teacher. These are the vocabulary that your teacher wants you to memorize. And you can see up here that there are 22 words that your teacher has selected. And here you can see the dictionary selected. But since all of you are Korean, you don't need to change this. If you would like the text here to be larger or smaller, you can click these right here like so. If this window pops up and it doesn't go away, you can just close it. So I would like it a little bit bigger, so I'm going to make the text a little bit larger. Now, like I said, the words, this color, the color light yellow, are the words that your teacher have selected for you. You can put your mouse over top of that word and it will tell you what the word means. So highlighting over top of it, you can see on the top the sentence where the word comes from. So this will help you memorize the word. And on the bottom, there's the definitions in Korean. You can see this one is N, which means it is a noun. And the first definition it gives us is 통치. So you can kind of know that it's something similar to that. Now, sometimes you might see an orange highlighted word. This one is no definition found. So, in this case, please look on your vocabulary list and listen to your teacher for the explanation of these kinds of words. These happen sometimes, but most of the time, you can see the definition like this. Now, what you can do is as you read this, please click on the words that you do not understand, and then your words will be highlighted so that you can study them later. For example, if you don't know the word pockets, let's click this word. Now, as you can see, after we click it, we get a definition, once again, in Korean. The first definition is n, a noun, and it is very similar, it's pocket. And let's say we also do not understand the word ingredients. Let's click on that one. Once again, the definition comes up here for us. Now, as you read, you can continue to click on words that you do not understand. This is important because as we click on words that we do not understand, 
we are creating a vocabulary list to study. So as we go through, we'll find some words that perhaps are difficult for us. And as you read, you can also read the definition in Korean. Let's continue and select just a few more. For example, maybe we'll take the word decades and maybe the word freedom. Okay, now we have some words. Now we want to study the words. There are a few things we can do. The first one is first we click on the left side of the article here. After we've clicked on this box, then we can click on this drop-down menu and choose between three games to help us study. First, let's look at the crossword puzzle. We click on this, and a new window will open with an automatic crossword puzzle to help us study. Let's put a name for our crossword puzzle here. Crossword Puzzle 1. Then we click Save Puzzle. After we have saved the puzzle, you can see that we have a crossword here. And if you look down the list, you notice that first we have the Korean definition of the word on the top left. And then there is an English sentence with a blank. You need to fill in that blank. And you can do that by going to where the word is. So for example, uh, two down. If I look for two, I see it's here. Once again, highlight over it, and then I can click on this and fill in the word. And then after you fill in the word, then you can continue to progress on the game. And as you progress up here, this bar will fill up from 0% to 100%. After you finish your puzzle, you can exit, go back to your CL notes, and you can also make a new puzzle if you want. And since we've saved the puzzle, we can go back here to games, click crossword puzzles, and our puzzle will be right here. We can either click here to play the crossword puzzle game or here. Let's click here. And once again, our puzzle is here. If you complete something, it will automatically save so you can return to your puzzle at any time. Now, let's go back to our notes and let's try to make a different game. The second option is a flashcard. Now, keep in mind, when we make these, it's going to quiz you on the words, not only the ones that you chose, but also the words that your teacher chose. So let's create a flashcard. Notice how once we've created it, it says a new flashcard has been successfully created. Press OK. All right. So now we have some flashcards here. And for our flashcards, we can take a look. So of the population is dissatisfied because they want more accountable government and so on and so forth. So once we look through here, we can actually go back and forth between what the word is and what the definition is. So if you were translating from English to Korean, we'd see this word and then you have to think, do I know this word? Try to answer it by yourself. And once you answer, click on here and look at the definition. Were you correct? If you were, click got it. And then this will not, well, you'll basically progress in your puzzle. Let's go on to the next word and explore some more features. So we have this word, we can even listen to the word, how it's pronounced. Decade. We can also click this to listen to the sentence and find out how everything here is pronounced. This is especially good 
if you're trying to practice your pronunciation. Make people feel less prosperous than they are in reality. In the last couple of decades, we have seen hundreds of millions of people lifted out of poverty and is the... And once again, you can guess what the meaning is in Korean. When you're ready, click on the card and it will tell you the definition. And if you feel like you can remember it, then you can click got it. And if you accidentally click got it, you can always unmark the word again so that you can go back later and study. So now we have these flashcards, the flashcard game as well. Let's go back and try the last game that we have, which is a gap filling game. Once again, we'll select an article that we want to do the game about. Let's choose this one again. And then we'll click this box. And once again, click the drop down menu and then click gap filling game. Once again, we get a window that tells us that it has been created. Click OK. All right, this time we have a blank gap. So you have to look at the Korean and guess what this word is. So we can listen to the word if we want to hear what it sounds like. Freedom. And we can also listen to the sentence, similar to how we did with the flashcards. Of the population is dissatisfied because they want a more accountable government and greater personal freedom, he says, as the middle class in China takes hold in the next decade or. All right, so let's enter the answer in here. The answer is freedom, as you heard. Let's see if we can get this one correct. All right, so this time it says that we got the question correct. So if you get it incorrect, it will say that it is incorrect and you can try again. And once again, similar to the last one, we can click next to go to the next question or click previous to go to the previous question. Once you've finished one of these games, you can go back to your menu and if you want to do it again, do the same thing and make another game. All right, that is all you need to know to do these exercises and study these articles. So once again, make sure that once you log in, you can check the individual articles that you want to study, check the words you don't understand, and after you're finished, you can go and make some games. If you accidentally select a word that you already know, you can always remove that word by going up to the top, clicking on the words, clicking on the word that you selected. Also notice here, the words in blue are the ones that you selected. The ones in white are the ones that your teacher selected. You cannot delete your teacher's words, but you can delete your own words by selecting it, and then clicking delete. After this, the word will be removed and you can either go to a different one or you can refresh the screen and it will allow you to see that it is gone. So let's go here and back and notice that pockets is now not highlighted. Now I want to hide these words so I can see more. And if I want to see it in an even bigger way, we can also click hide list to hide the menu on the left side so that we can look at only the article. All right, that is all you need to know to use CL notes. I hope that it is easy to understand and I hope that it helps you study a lot of vocabulary. If you have any other questions, make sure to tell your teacher and your teacher will be able to help you. Thank you.